Hi, how are you? Enos in here, and welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle of the Key Bond Rehydrated. Now we left off where we just got out of Rock Bottom, and here we are about to enter Sand Mountain. We have 40 golden spatulas, which we pretty much have enough to get out of the second part of, you know, Bikini Bottom. But like I said, I'm gonna do every single world. So let's do it. Sand Mountain. You're pretty much your main objective for this um, world is Squidward. Because, you know, every single world has a main mission. Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Squidward, am I glad yep. you're here? Squidward. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh, yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robot mess, and now everything is ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. I found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this love. Forget the marbles! <laughs> I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal! So he doesn't really give you a golden spatula. It's just every single time you get done with a slope or an area, get done with the skiing, get done skiing down a slope, you get a golden spatula. So Squidward's pretty much the main mission. Because every single world has one. Except for, I think... Except for, I think... Um... Maybe one of them. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. Sock concert. That's a gold trophy. Wow. My first gold trophy in SpongeBob. Another dog breath. That's what it's called. Meow. Hi, Gary. Oh, I know you don't play as Patrick in this one. In Sand Mountain, you play as um Sandy. play a Sandy. There is some side missions to do. Sucks I had destroyed their, um... Snowman. See, there's eight snowmans. It's very hard to complete all of them. But I'm gonna try and show you how. If I can't get them, I'll just try and explain it the best I can. But there's ten socks. And I could usually get all of them, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna promise that I am. So yep, another gold spatula down there. We have to bungee jump. But of course we're gonna have to pay to get up there. And it's pretty much it's plankton. Twenty five hundred. Just for a look hey, how do I how do I get up there? How do I get up there? Oh, okay, wait. There we go. I don't really think that's how you're supposed to, but I'm just cheating it. I'm just cheating the game. Get Chuck out of the way. So here we go. With Plankton. Hello, my most favorite friend in the whole world. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh, boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm, I suppose you could bungee down. Pay 2500 just just to do that. It's like, boom. 
you bungee down just like one time and boom spatula you know you kind of expect it to be a little bit of a challenge but hey I'm not complaining an easy golden spatula Keep up the good work buddy of mine and don't forget to help me out with the chum bucket an easy golden spatula is an easy job well done okay so I'm gonna go in order here Okay, I'll get that golden spatula up maybe when I'm done with everything. Or maybe when I come back. I just want to at least show you what to do first. Pretty much all you have to do is reach the end of the slope and beat Toms. Beat the certain character's Toms. Mrs. Puff. Guppy Mound. Yep, and every single end. I've gone down this hill a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. I'll tell you one thing, Mrs. Puff is everywhere. I won't go down there just yet. I love opening presents. Let me just get done. Oh, let me just finish all the presents. Yes, you can change your character. For good reasons too. Because there are some socks. And some of the areas there's socks. Yep, like this one. Another find for Patrick. Did you see Mr. Krabs? Ah oh, god, you gotta be really Kabam! Did you see that little lasso um Texas um thing up there? Or it was above it was above me back there. You gotta be fast. You can easily miss the time and the socks. If you're not ready and prepared. You can easily die here. Easily. Come on, I'm almost at the end. I'm not really going to go bother going back. Whoa, what's with the super jump? Another sock. You. Patrick needs to do laundry. There we go. Return to Mrs. Puff for the reward. Like to the reward. Wins. But the only way to get back is to defeat all the enemies and the, get, destroy the duplicatrons. And press the buttons behind them. You just met See? the Spongenator. That snowball just, or that sandball is just pretty much rolled right over that spatula. There we go. After this gold spatula, you pretty much get another one straight away. See? Congratulations! You pass with flying colors. Look how quick that was. What the heck? It was frozen for a second. Yeah, see, I'm not really going to bother changing. Or I'm, or I'm going to change, but I'm not going to go back down the slope to get the socks. Take that! Surprise everyone! But what I'm going to try and do is get the snowman. So I'm going to go down the slope twice for a certain one. And it's coming up. I think it's the second one. I don't know, but it's against Bubble Buddy. The next sock is down here. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. Oh yeah, and I forgot to get the socks to Patrick. Gotcha! Yeah, here, Bob. Bob, oh, it's pretty much named the exact same Bob from Mario. I think that's where they got the inspiration from. Flounder Hill. Yep. Same thing. Hey there, Sandy. Howdy, Bubble Buddy. <laughs> oh. Did you see that? He just dabbed. Like, how old is that? Do it again. Do it again. Dab again. 
Ah, screw it. Okay, this is where you do the snowman challenge. And there's one. I'm gonna try and do it. If I can't, I just can't. So this is the, this is the second one. The shinier, the better. Just get ready. I feel like the only way to complete this is to go all the way back. This is the only way I think to do it. There may be an easier way, but this is the only way I know. There may be, I think there's an easier way. But I don't know. I just don't really want to bother finding out. If I don't get all of them, it's, it's going to have to wait for the long play. And I can't really get hit anymore. Or try not to get hit anymore. And this one might take a while, so... Be prepared. I just keep forgetting which slope I gotta go. I gotta go down. Because, like I said, you can easily miss one. Like that one right there. There's four. Let me try going back up. Let me try going back up. I don't think so. I, I just want to make sure, that's all. Okay, I don't think so. So I went the, so I went the right way to begin with. Sort of. But I'm gonna keep going down. Wait, I think I just saw another- Oh, no, 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 no. I get- I get confused with the environment like I've said a thousand times. And that's my own personal preference. Oh, I don't like this part. That was very luck E. Let me go back up here and see if I missed any. To be honest with you, I think this is probably the only way to complete this challenge. I mean, it's like, how do you expect anybody to do this? Because once you finish the slope, you gotta do the whole challenge. You gotta do the whole challenge again. And yeah, the whole challenge again. Like, it don't start back to, um... It don't start back at, uh where you left off. Like, you either get what you get, or you end up missing them. And yes, it's a pain. It's a it's an extreme pain. That's why I really don't like this one. And the socks are pretty horrendous, too. Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Okay. I'm trying to figure out which one. Because I need to figure out which slope I need to take. I don't need to worry about the Tom because I'm not being um, challenged yet. That's six. I think there's one at the very end, too. So I pretty much have this in the bag. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's better. Wait, I, I probably need to go back. I don't really need to, but I'm gonna try and get this sock. If I can't, that's fine. Ah, okay. I guess I can't. Because pretty much right above me, like right above me, is that's, that's where another sock is. Oh, I don't know how I got away with that. It's pretty much inside this little, yeah, that little tube right there. That little tunnel that I just passed. And yet, this is the end. And I think the very last snowman's at the end of this little enclosure. Just try I just don't want to die. Well, that worked. 
if I die, it's gonna restart itself. That is an extreme annoyance. If I missed it, I, I, that's fine. I mean, I wasn't really expecting to get it anyway. Nope. See, I don't think I got it. I think I missed one. Yeah. Yeah, I missed one. Let me try and go back. I'm yeah, I missed one. Underwear. That's fine. That's completely fine. Well, let's do the challenge. I'm gonna go in that it's top area like again, where that little sock was. Look like a CB. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Yep. 110 seconds. This pretty much means a minute and ten seconds, if, you, if you're not good with math. I love opening presents. Where's that last snowman? It might be on top where the sock was. But I gotta be even more careful because I'm playing a Spongebob. And I have to jump. Sometimes you gotta jump to get extra speed. Or extra distance. You know, to get shortcuts and stuff. Sometimes I do this to get shortcuts. Like this right there. Don't even ask me how I did it, but I just got lucky. You know, his tongue is like sliding right up against them spikes. I want to see if I can try and get to the top of those tunnels that I just passed with Sandy. If I can't... That's probably where the last snowman is. But if I can't get it, that's fine. I mean, I wasn't really expecting to get all of them anyway. Because I was expecting there to be, you know, one more at the very end. Of, like, the, the slope, I mean. So I'm just being really cautious here. This is where it takes place. Oh, I saw it! I saw it! Please make it! Got it! Am I at the end? I don't think so. Oh man, no. I got one. There's the finish. Fresh like a spring breeze. There's the sock. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. I feel like a new sponge. So what's pretty much means if you get all the the snowmen, you get a sock. Which I think is pointless, but at the same time, if you're a completionist, it's worth getting. Or it's worth giving it a try. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You beat my best time! Here's a spatula! Awesome. Let's change back into Sandy. Because there's a challenge. There's a challenge I want to do with her. We have one more slope to do, and it's tough. It's against Larry. Larry the Lobster. Because I want to get that spatula up there. Wow. You don't say. Well, there must be a way up there. Okay, let's do this. So lasso all the way over there. And got it! So it's not that hard. It really isn't. It's just figuring out a way to how to lasso it, that's all. Yeah, once you once you get rid of that snowman right there, you get a sock. Messing with Texas. Yeah! So let's go up to the very last slope and then we'll be done. So, 
pretty much at the end of the slope and it aimed with Larry. So, let's do this. This is gonna be tough, just gonna let you know that. There is a shortcut that you can take, and it's crucial, I get it. Sand Mountain. I thought that was the whole- yeah, see, look at it. Lots of um, shortcuts you can take, and for good reason. Hey, Sandy! Let's change to SpongeBob. And let's finish it off strong. I'm the fastest there is. I helped him once. My time I'll down help this him again. Is unbeatable. I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. Let's do this. Fresh like a spring breeze. All right, Larry, you're on. So this is the first one I like to go for. Hopefully, I can do this. It usually takes me a few tries, but I'm not gonna let y'all see all this. If I keep messing up. I just hope I get that shortcut. Because it's very hard to get sometimes. It's pretty much getting on a certain platform. What that little trampoline is. Because there's been several times where I missed the jump. It crushed that little couple. Did you see that? Just follow the sand ball. It's gonna lead you right towards it. Yep, and that's where it is. The main shortcut you want to take. I love opening presents. And there was a sock back there. It's pretty much um around that little slope. I just didn't feel like doing it because I was afraid I was gonna die. If I was playing this normal without being challenged, I I would get it. Or if I wasn't recording. So let's... Almost there. I'm almost there. I can pretty much see the finish line from here. Yep, yeah, can you see it? It was kind of blurry there. You see it? Just hope I don't die. Don't die now. This would be embarrassing if I do. See, that's why I was kind of afraid to do this in the first place. God, don't die now! Especially, don't die from these things. I'd rather die falling off a cliff. Life's as extreme as you can... It's life as extreme as dot dot dot. It was a trophy. So it wasn't the, really the full saying of the, the trophy. Oh, I gotta press the other button. There we go. From a smooth sailing from here on out. Smooth skiing, more like it. All I do is gotta go back to Larry and claim my gold special. You beat my then I'll be done with this world. Here's a spatula! Now, I find it weird how SpongeBob's name is in green. I guess they may, it. I guess they misinterpreted interpreted it with maybe plankton, I don't know. They probably meant to do it with another character. But let's go back. We can talk to Squidward or we can just walk out. But I'm going to talk to everybody, including Squidward. Because the guy deserves to be noticed. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like... victory. Okay. Let's go back to Squidward and talk to him. He doesn't give you nothing, but... You get a pretty good conversation with them. Oh, thank Neptune, you did it! Now I can go get my equipment and ski in peace. Actually, I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. What? Who said he could do that? I did. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Again. Wouldn't mind? Of course I mind! It's only the most expensive skiing equipment you can buy! 
And what does Patrick want with that stuff anyway? He doesn't even know how to ski. I want the worm now! Wow. See, that's it. So, Sand Mountain is done. And pretty much the last area in part two of Bikini Bottom is the Mermalair. And that's a tough world. Not like super tough, like where I die all the time, but it's tough. And you get a new, and there's a new enemy. And it's a very cool enemy. A very, very cool enemy. But I'll say that for the next video. So, that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next video for where we go through the Mermalair. Ina's out.